Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2005 Bobcat T180 rubber track skid steer loader. This machine is a very, very nice straight original machine other than we did paint the black undercarriage and the orange back door. Uh, machine has just 2017 hours. Uh, white paint is all original. This is a nice, well kept, good running machine. And we have just put from our friends down at Summit Supply two brand new 12 inch tracks, okay? Uh, this machine is 110% up and ready, ready to go to work machine. I'm going to start you back here at the engine compartment. We're going to take you completely around this machine. I'm going to start it, run it, show you it does everything it's supposed to do. Here in the back door, um, powered by Kubota V2403, four cylinder diesel engine, and this is a turbocharged diesel engine. We have had this machine in the shop. It has had a full service. I've put a brand new battery in it. We've done fuel filter, engine oil, hydraulic, both air filters. We have done both case drain filters that come off the drive motors. I put a brand new muffler in from Bobcat. This is not an aftermarket, it's 298 bucks. Uh, and the only reason I did it was right here. It was starting to get some rust and rot uh, on the muffler, which is a common place. But I didn't want somebody to have a problem with it. And I do have a problem with a lot of these guys on the internet. They're just selling painted pigs. They do no work to anything. They have no idea what they're selling somebody. And then whenever a guy gets burnt and screwed, and a guy like myself that does a lot of work, and try to get through a piece of equipment and sell it the honest way, is the guy that's always then in the wrong. So, But again, machine is in very good condition. Engine starts, runs excellent. I'm going to start the motor real quick so you can see it run with the hood open. to be able to see that um, again no oil leaks no antifreeze leaks and again machine has been fully serviced back door uh, very nice and straight it's not bowed in beat in down here at the bottom uh, all the lights work we had uh, I run out of 1157 bulbs the two bulbs in here are bad I'm going to put two brand new bulbs in it before it is sold okay top pillars everything there is nice and straight this is still nice and square side panels everything there not beat in or dented in on this side at all and original decals I left on. Cylinders, everything is good and dry. Main boom here, nothing is welded or busted. Now, whenever this machine come in, we did do the hub wheels both sides, but on this left side, we did find that the parking brake was not working properly. I ordered a reman from Woodland Fluid Power. That's who we get all our final drive parts from, our finaldriveparts.com. They do a, a brand new six month warranty, has been installed. Um, I just want everybody to know that, and I'm just being an honest person telling you that. Uh, other drive, perfectly fine. We've tested charge pressure. Everything is where it is supposed to be out on this machine. Sprockets, idlers, bottom rollers. See how nice and fat these bottom rollers are? Idlers are not war like sprockets. Um, the sprockets, the rem remainder of this undercarriage is 75%. And again, we just put the tracks on yesterday. Coming up front, does come with a Bobcat brand, 68 inch tooth bucket, it's in very nice shape, it's not welded or busted, and this is the, what they call heavy duty bucket, where it has the cast top, okay? Standard two pin skid loader quick attach, cylinders are good, no leaks, pins and bushings, everything there is very good and tight. Auxiliary hydraulics with case drain coupler for running attachments. There is some concrete spatter on the front, but it doesn't affect anything. Coming around to this side over here, I just want to again give you another shot. Both sides match up, tracks are both brand new, and again, machine's 110%. Cab is nice and straight. Grab handles are good and straight. Uh, nothing there is bent, twisted, anything like that. I'm gonna grab the camera, we'll take you up inside the operator's cab. Coming into cab, standard uh, controls. Uh, again, cab is good. We did put a new seal in up here for the top window from Bobcat. Um, just the seal is getting tore up. That happens to them. So, inside the cab here, Standard uh, dash panel over here with your uh, row of idiot lights, parking brake switch. I want to go ahead and start it. 2017 hours, all gauges work. Now hold this for you, it's going to show you no error codes. Okay, one other thing we'll do push the on brake button, all four lights will come on. And there you can see all four are on. 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. And you have standard controls for foot pedals here. And throttles over here. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start and run this machine. Show you it does everything it's supposed to do. And we're going to run it around. And uh, 
one other big thing I will do, I will lock the parking brake on and I'll show you that it will not drive through its brakes. That's one thing guys on the internet will not show you because A, either they don't know anything about the brakes on the T180 or T190 or they don't want to show you that the drive motor brakes work because there's an issue.
can see here from this machine, this car runs, works, does everything you ask it to do. Is it a used piece of construction equipment? Yes. Do I guarantee this machine to be 110% the way I say it is when you receive it? Yes, 110%. Machine starts, runs, works, there's no oil leaks, we've been through it, serviced it. I've actually owned this machine probably three or four months and I've held it here until spring because track machines are right in season. Uh, it is a nice, clean, straight machine with 2,017 hours, not 4,700 hours, uh, which you see a lot of guys advertise on the internet today. Uh, new tracks, I had uh, $1,400 in a set of tracks. Drive motor was $1,500 bucks and a full service and going through. I've put some money into this machine, but I know what I have. If you want to come by and see it yourself in person, I have absolutely nothing to hide. I am not out to hurt anybody, fool anybody. Here it is. Come run it. Come play with it. Do just what I did there today. I don't care. Um, if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. I'll probably have, I'm wanting to say I took 45 photos of this machine uh, on our website, <clears throat> on marksupply.com, uh, co.com. Uh, check out Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and uh, check us out on eBay. Uh, if you have any questions at all, again, 814-658-3066. Again, I am Nick Miller, and thank you very much for viewing Mark Supply Company, and as always, have a good day.